Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Welcome again to our 15 minutes podcast. Today is Friday. Today we're going to be running up this series of teaching that we started two weeks ago on the subject, lose your faith. Lose your faith. Now, what inspired this was the series of teaching we've been taking on healing. Number one, we in, in, in two last series, I spoke on healing is spiritual from the story of Luke 7, the centurion. From there, we went into use your authority. Now, we now came down to lose your faith. Why? Because in Mark 9, that we're using for this text, the man asked Jesus Christ to use his faith. And Jesus Christ also told him, you also lose your faith. So you see, you have a part, I have a part. The Bible says, for with God, for with God, nothing shall be possible. For with God. But Jesus now said, to him, all things are possible to him that believe it. He didn't say that all things are possible for him that believe it. All things doesn't need to be possible for you to believe. Do you know what I'm talking about now? Do you believe you have brain? Yes. Do you believe you have kidney? Yes. Did you see your brain? No. Did you see your kidney? No. But do you believe you have that the kidney is there? Yes. That's what God wants you to believe. Did you see that? <laughs> That's all that God requests from you. Oh, yes. That's what God believes. Do you, do you believe you have brain? Yes. Do you believe you have kidney? Yes. Have you seen your kidney before? No. Have you seen your brain before? No. Good. But you believe you have them? Yes. So to you, it, they are there. But for God, all things are possible. For, put God in the position of action. God is the one that acts. You all just to believe. Just believe that all things are possible. Just believe that, look, you, would, you, would, you have recovered from this sickness. You are going to live long. You are going to fulfill your days. You are going to fulfill your years. You will not die before your time. Just know that this is coming to pass. This story is coming to pass. There's going to be a better story coming for you. That is where God wants you to stand when it comes to healing. So, lose your faith. Now, I now went to James 5, 14, 15, 16, where I showed us that, look, Many people missed it because as the centurion called for the elders, the Bible also asked us to call for the elders in James 5:14. It's true, we call for the elders. But you see, it's not the elders that heal you. It's not the anointing oil that heals you. It's not even your confession of sin that healed you. I've proved all that. So confession of sin doesn't heal you. The elders don't heal you. The oil does not heal you. But what heals you is the prayer of faith. It's prayer of faith. So I now started analyzing it. What does prayer of faith look like? Now I didn't say prayer said in faith. So many transitions said so. But that's not what Jesus, that's not what James was teaching. The, every prayer must be said in faith. Every prayer must be said in faith. You intercede in faith. You speak with tongues in faith. You give thanksgiving in faith. Good. Now listen to this. That's Mark eleven twenty four. 24. When you pray, believe you receive. So every prayer must be said in faith. But there's a prayer of faith. Now how do we say prayer of faith? We went into the life of Jesus to see how Jesus Christ prayed for the sick. Charles and Francis Otter prayed for the sick. But I was not ever in any of their meeting. I've not even seen their video. Can I hug and pray for the sick? I've, I, I don't see most of his video, so I don't know how he prayed for the sick. But do you know what? I have the Bible. So I've run through the Bible to see how Jesus Christ prayed for the sick. And I discovered that when it comes to praying for the sick, Jesus Christ does not pray to God. Jesus Christ speaks to the sick. That is a prayer of faith. Prayer of faith does not speak to God. Prayer of faith speaks to you. Take your bed and walk. Go to the Siloam and wash. Carry your head up and see. Did you see now? Go show yourself. To the, so, so, so prayer of faith speaks to you. Prayer of faith does not speak to God. So when we get that right, so we understand how prayer of faith is said. Prayer of faith is said even in faith. Now, number, now number, where we left off from was from James 5.15. Now, James 5.15 put push the healing to the future tense. He said, and the Lord shall raise him up. Now, meaning that, and the prayer of faith shall save the sick, and the Lord shall raise him up. Now, once the prayer of faith is said, the Lord shall raise him up, meaning that, 
don't come back again to say the prayer. Once it says, and the prayer of faith shall heal the sick. Prayer of faith is never said twice. You don't say prayer of faith three times. Listen to me. Once you say, once you pray for the same sickness, the second time, you have prayed in unbelief. You have prayed in unbelief. So when you speak to God concerning a sickness once, don't speak to God about it the second time. Now, in other word, hear me, in other word, in other word, if you pray for the same sickness nine times, ten times, you have only prayed one time in faith, nine times is an unbelief. And you know what? Those nine times can never be effective. It is only the first time that is effective. So, so, there, so there's no need, it's not like a tablet that you need to take about 10 times to be able to knock off the sickness. No, 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 no. Prayer of faith is said once. That is why James specifically said, and the prayer of faith shall hear the sick. He will have, he will have said it, he said, he, he said it, he said this prayer thing appeared three times. He said, call for the elders of the church and let them pray over you. Number one, anointing you with oil in the name of the Lord. He now went ahead and they say, and the prayer of faith shall hear the sick. And he said, confess your fault one to another and pray one for another that you may be healed. Three times he spoke about prayer. But you see, he made us to understand the kind of prayer he's talking about. It's prayer of faith. So once you have called me and I've prayed for you, are you listening to me now? Now I'm not expecting you, that is, usually we run our prayer meetings our healing meetings for three nights if i pray for you for headache a first night i'm not expecting that you will come back for headache the second night no if you come back for the same headache the second night that second time i'm praying for you is an unbelief so if you're going to counsel the first time i pray for you and i'm going to pray for you the second time then you're going to act on the spot so most of the times when I pray for people probably will have persistent headache. When I lay my hand and rebuke the headache, I tell them to shake their head. You see, you see prayer of faith says something to you. Prayer of faith says something. Prayer of faith does not say something to God. Prayer of faith says something to you. Now that does not mean that the headache is gone. Because here, what we saw in that uh, Mark 8.22, shows that the man's healing was not perfected the moment jesus christ anointed him he said and and and, and in in that mark 8 23 he said and he took the blind man by the hand and led him out of this town and when he has spit on his eyes and put his hand upon him he asked him if he saw all and he looked up and said i see actually the man saw actually but where the problem came back where the problem came is that the man said he said, I see men as trees walking. Now that is from his mind. The man said, I see. Yes, the man saw. He was blind before. Blind men cannot see men walking as trees. Am I correct? No, blind men can't. Blind men don't even see at all. So if this man say, I see. Now where he got it wrong was that he went further to say men as trees walking. Jesus didn't ask him to give the details. Are you listening to me now? Now, when a prayer of faith is said to you, receive it by faith and act. Don't give description of what you are seeing. Sometimes it takes a little time. It takes a few seconds sometimes. Sometimes it takes a few months. Uh, sorry, a few, few minutes. But do you know what? Don't get into unbelief. Where this man missed this was that the man went into unbelief. The man said, I see men as trees walking. He got into unbelief. I once listened to, uh, what's his name? Uh, Andrew Womack share his testimony. How a blind man came and he prayed for the blind man. And he was shocked that he made lay hands on the black blind man. The blind man saw. And Andrew Womack screamed and said, Kai, I can't believe that. He said, the man, the man went blind again. Then instantly God told me, God said, you just close his eyes back. He said, how? He said, you just spoke in unbelief that you can't believe it. He said, Lord, I'm sorry. So he laid his hands on the man the second time. And the eyes saw again. He said, praise the Lord. And the man didn't go blind again. Did you see? That was what happened to this man. The man said, I see. He said, men 
as trees walking. So after that, he put his hand again upon his eyes and made him look up and didn't allow him to talk. Oh, and he was restored and saw every man clearly. Did you see that? So once you pray a prayer of faith, prayer of faith speaks to you. Instantly begin to act. Don't give description. Just act. Like that man, just simply stop at I see. Don't go ahead to say men walking like trees. You will lose the healing. You will lose the healing. You will lose the healing. So that's what we're talking about. So how does God define faith? Hebrews 11, 1 to 3. Now faith is the substance of things hoped for. The evidence of things not seen. For by it, the elders, in Mark, in, 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 in that James 5.14, how does the elders obtain report? Obtain a good report through faith. So you see, if elders are going to get results, if the nigga is going to get results in his healing meetings, I must pray prayer of faith. You must respond by faith. Are you listening to me now? Don't respond by describing. I've seen many people, at times I pray for them. When I lay hands on them, they were having the pain. When I lay hands on them and I say bed and I ask them, how do you do now? They say the thing has subsided. And I know that if I leave them to go, the, the sickness will come back. So I pray for them again and I ask them to do what they can't do before. And I say, now I know you are already here. They say, yes, yes, no more pain. Praise God. So I got it right. Did this now? So, how did God describe faith? Now, faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. The evidence of things not seen. See, faith is the substance of things hoped for. Hoped for, hoped is past tense. You don't put faith in the future, you put faith in the past tense. The evidence of things not seen. So, you don't need to see men walking like tree before you say you see once you have seen say you have, have, have seen hallelujah through faith we understand that the words were framed the world were framed by the word of god so that the things which are seen were not made of things which do appear now that is the prayer of faith the prayer of faith frames up things it frames what needs to happen to happen the prayer of faith does not pray to god the prayer of faith framed it up it frames it up. So it's not an evidence of things that is seen. It's an evidence of not, things not seen. Did you think I'm saying that? So after the prayer of faith is said, don't wait for more prayers. It will not be prayer of faith again. Act on the prayer already said. If not, the elders will not obtain good report from the sickness. So you see, the only way the elders obtain good report from having come to pray for you when you sent for them is that what they pray is a prayer of faith. You don't pray prayer of faith two times. Once they have come to pray for you, begin to act on that. Now I will close with this testimony. You know, Brother Hagen had heart issue. And the doctor said he will not see his 17th birthday. So he came to that James chapter 5, where he says, send for the elders of the church. Let them pray for him. But he knows that his church does not believe in healing. He was a Baptist boy at that time. You know they don't believe in healing. So you know that there's no need to send for them. So eventually he came down to, to Mark eleven twenty four, where the Bible says, therefore what things over you desire, when you pray, believe, you receive them and you have them. So God asked him, God said, when did you believe you receive? He said, now. God said, good. So if you believe, then you don't need another prayer. In fact, you don't need your food to be served to you on the bed. So he waited until, until in the evening after they have served his food. And he told them that, please, tomorrow morning, you push, you not bring the breakfast. I will join you in the breakfast table. So they were wondering, you that you are going to die before your 17th birthday, that all your body is weak. How would that happen? But hear this. When it was breakfast time and you were serving the breakfast, God told him, now get out of the bed. Brahagin attempted to bring out his first leg. He was shocked that the leg that has been weak for months received strength. Instantly, he put out the second leg. To cut the long story short, he received his healing perfectly when he acted on the word. And do you know what? He lived over 85 years old before he died. 
So that is how prayer of faith is is prayed and you have to release your faith to receive prayer of faith so prayer of faith does not speak to god prayer of faith speaks to you and then you act and then you release your faith so i take i use my authority and then you release your faith by responding so jesus told the man he said look at it the man said i see he now went ahead and said man as trees walking that's where the man got it wrong i see is all you need to do I see means he has already gotten the healing. But describing it brought him back into unbelief. Praise God. Thank you so much. As for me here, I want to tell you that Jesus Christ is Lord. I will see you in our Monday 15 minutes podcast. We will be starting another series of teaching. God bless you.